Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you're here. Just want to say I love you, my YouTube family. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, so I'm doing a video for you guys for New Year's. I'm going to be following off this set here and then I'm going to be doing a new design for you guys. I'm super excited and with a surprise, we're going to be doing another giveaway for you guys. Yay! <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do the Burano full kit and we are going to do the uh, your Yogi gel polish kit that we have. Um, I'm going to be putting this in the giveaway for you guys. So go ahead and don't forget to enter in this video at the end of the video, please. Uh, but make sure that you follow all the rules. I'll have them linked down below as well, what you have to do. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyways, it's a new year, a new beginning. And I'm so excited to have a whole new year, to have whole new designs. And just praise Jesus for all the goodness and the blessings that he sends me each day with you guys being so supportive and everything i love that so much i give him all the thanks in the world um because he loves us all but anyway so like i said i'm going to take this set off i'm going to be using the nail junkies acrylics in this set today and i'm going to be using um clear i'm going to be using cancer and I got this beautiful glitter that I'm going to show you guys, but that's a little later. I'll tell you all about it. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by pushing back the cuticles as what you need to do every time you take off your nails. So once you decide to take off your nails, like I said, you want to make sure you push back those cuticles. Just be gentle. You don't have to be harsh on them. Now, um, I just take and I slowly go around uh, the edges just to make sure I've got them pushed back. Um, do remember that when you do push back your nails and you start doing your nails, give yourself a little room because your cuticles will come back down, uh, which I learned the hard way. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you just go really, really slowly. And I'll tell you something else that you can do that will help you when you're doing this. Um, I should have done this first, but I didn't. Um, but uh, I like to take and uh, use just a little bit of uh, oil which I'm going to do right here. I'm just going to take some cuticle oil and I'm going to put those on my uh, put this on my cuticles because what that does it softens that cuticle up and therefore you can easily get uh, the cuticle off and stuff with that way it gives it instead of it being so dry and hard to get off um, you can just take and put some on each nail rub it in really well let it sit for a minute or two and then, <clears throat> then you can go on in and start removing that cuticle. It just softens it up so it's easier to remove from the nail. Which I like doing because I feel like I don't do much uh, damage to my cuticles and stuff. And I just start going around and around and around and clean it all up. <laughs> um, but yeah, well my cuticles are a little on the tough side. Um, and that's because where I repeatedly do nails, constantly changing my nails, um, which causes it to get a little bit hard. Um, which is okay, it's fine, you know, that's where you have to keep a lot of cuticle oil on and things like that to keep your cuticles from becoming dry. Um, I, uh, I use all different kinds of cuticle oil though. Um, I've got like body, like a body butter cuticle oil, well it's a body butter, but I use it as a cuticle oil, works really well. I got it actually from Maniology, came in one of my boxes and it still has lasted forever. But yeah, just go around, push each one of them back and you know just clean them really well because like I said you know when you're doing nails you want to make sure to try to remove as much as possible because what happens is when you go to apply more ac acrylic or gel or things like that it will lift because there is still um, product you know cuticle above the nail it gets on the cuticle and then it starts lifting um, which is a hard thing to do sometimes I know sometimes it's hard to get all the cuticle or you think you've gotten it all and the next thing you know you apply your nail and then your nail starts lifting um, I use several bits when I'm use, when I'm going to remove product though, just to help me get all that cuticle off. But you do need to be careful too. Like you don't want to be too aggressive with your cuticles. Uh, you can cause it to be um, cause it to be. Uh, oh my God, what is it called? Like they're in, like inflamed kind of, or you can cause um, you can just do a lot of damage if you're not if you're not careful with it. Just be very gentle. Like I said, if you're using any kind of drill bits or anything like that, be extra careful. Um, but if 
but if you've like cutting yourself or things like that you want to make sure that you take care of that properly you know get you an antibiotic ointment, ointment to put on it keep it from getting infected cleanse it with um, alcohol and um, I'm just going to take this little tool here and I'm just going to go around and clip off these nails instead of trying to file it all off um, there's no sense in doing that if you're going to remove the set anyways just I usually just take half the nail off and that way the only thing I had to do is the nail beds themselves now you can if you don't want to keep on nails for a very long time um, I'm going to advise you to wear a peel off base coat that way you can change your nails more often it will help so much now my thing is I love to wear my nails though I I don't like to use a, a peel off base coat unless I am doing like a series thing or if I'm doing like a lot of Christmas designs you know things like that then I will uh, wear a peel off base coat all right so here we go I'm just gonna take a standing band and I'm gonna go around and just file uh, each one of these very softly just and I'm not gonna remove the whole product I'm just gonna file down to the nail bed to where it's just a very thin layer that just helps protect your nails, keeps them from being damaged, um, you know, because drill bits and things like that can become dangerous if you're not, not, if you don't know what you're doing. So I advise you before you do anything, leave a clear layer, whether it's a clear uh, acrylic, if it's dip powder, if it's gel, poly gel or whatever, just leave a thin layer so that way you're not, nail, nail, uh, you know, drilling into your nail bed. Okay, so now I'm going to be using these products today. This is Glitter Bells. This is a clear acrylic. This is their monomer. This is uh, Hema Free. Um, it was like $25 a bottle um, for like, I think it was eight ounces. Eight, or eight ounces, I think it was. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and prime my nails. I'm going to be using these forms today, which I do like. But I'm using the Enel Couture Prep and Prime to do this. And anyways, guys, like I said, I love you all to death. And I will see you in a minute.
ensemble using it. Uh, the nail jacket acrylics here. I'm using Cancer and Cover Pink. I'm going to be using these little uh, gadgets here. And I'm going to be using this um, glitter as well from the Nail Supply Glamour. I'll try to leave the links down below for you guys so that way you can check it out. But I am super stoked to try this glitter out. Super pretty. I've had these for a minute now. I just keep forgetting that I have them. So let's give them a try. Let's see how good they are. now so we are going to do a little bit of painting oh. <laughs> I have got the um, Mufa gel polishes here that I'm going to use and <laughs> I couldn't find the white so I got the Cossiella which both of these are really good for painting with um, I'm just going to start out putting a little bit down for each one And this is about New Year's, of course, and this is about time. Um, you know, we always think we have a lot of time in the world, um, but we really don't. I mean, we are blessed to wake up each and every day to a new beautiful day, to a new beginning. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be alive, to be able to breathe in this beautiful air and live in the world that we live in. Now I know there's a lot of the pandemic stuff going on and things like that but I put my faith in God um, I believe in him that he will keep me protected keep me safe and out of harm's way but you know time goes by so fast so so fast so make it what you want of it you know have your friends and just you know family your children you know things like that that you can enjoy Cause like I say, you know, one day, you know, your children grow up, friends move on, and it's best to just make the best out of it, you know. And just don't take time for granted. I have learned that, especially with everything that's been going on, losing family members and things like that, which is truly so hard, you know. But like I said, at least you know, heaven awaits us, you know. And that's absolutely amazing. So how is everyone? I mean, I hope everybody had a beautiful Christmas and things like that. You know, I hope you guys are ready for the new year. 
to you know hopefully you will let God into your life and realize how much he truly cares for each and every one of us that he will absolutely forgive our sins you know and, and I'm saying I'm not perfect I've done a lot of wrong in my life and so when God touched my heart you know I knew that he was just waiting for me waiting for me to let him back into my heart and I'm glad that I did I never felt more happier in my life um, with this, you know, COVID and things like this, it makes you depressed and sad and just, it isolates every one of us, you know. So you have to be, you need to just, you know, like I said, he's waiting. He's waiting for every one of us. All we have to do is let him in our heart and ask for forgiveness and repent and everything. And honestly, like no joke, it is absolutely been the best thing in my entire life. So, let me tell you a little bit about myself. This is kind of like a little testimony thing to you guys, and I hope it doesn't bore you guys to death. But, anyways, let me tell you about me. So, starting out young as a kid, I know some of you guys probably think I'm crazy, but um, it needs to be told, I guess. Um, I started out very young with, you know, being able to see things and hear things and just you know a lot of things going on in my life as I was a young child which you know haunted me forever actually until here recently when I found God I let all that go I let all that anger go all that hate go you know me and my parents didn't have a great relationship you know there was a lot of heartache and fighting and just over the years, it just kept getting worse and worse to where I'd just leave my family and come back. And, you know, all I ever wanted was for my parents to truly love me, you know, and accept me for who I was and just be proud of me. Um, that hasn't come yet, <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, it's totally fine. I know they love me. I know they do in their own way. And uh, so eventually in life, like I said, I had my children and things happened with my children and things that brought made things a lot worse you know they endured a lot of a lot of things they should have never endured um in the process as well I was addicted you know addicted to drugs um as I got older it got worse and worse and worse till at the point I just couldn't stop no matter what I just couldn't stop anything I just just kept taking drugs till it finally just got so old and so I just wanted to find a way out and um, I eventually did. I found a way out. Um, I started going to cl clinics to help myself and finally got on the right track. Well, like I said, we, every one of us has a, has a traumatic past or whatever. Um, I'd shut my gifts off though by um, doing drugs and things like that. Like I stopped dreaming, I stopped hearing things, stopped seeing things, I did all that. And uh, now I'm on my spiritual beginning. I'm on my way to my spiritual path, what I was meant to do on this world. Whatever God wanted me to do, Jesus Christ wanted me to do, I wanted to fulfill. So that's my journey now is to like, you know, what was my purpose? What was my purpose in this life? And I prayed that he guides me every way, gives me little signs or this and that, and just helps me heal. Um, I had to forget and forgive my past. You know, I totally had to let that behind me because if I didn't, it was just going to haunt me still. Um, like I said, it's uh, doing YouTube and painting again like I used to as a child and things like that. That has brought a lot out of me. Um, I don't know. You know, for a while, I still didn't think I was good enough, even when I was painting and things like that. But um, I do feel like a lot of my... Um, Things like that are going to help me on my way doing my painting and my nails and just praying every day and thanking, thanking the good Lord about Jesus for every blessing that he sends my way and that I am grateful for what he has sent me. Don't be greedy. You know, like I said, be thankful. Um, anyways, the night that I got saved, like I said, there was a lot of uh, things that was held back from our past and things that had happened, even towards me and my children. We had got distant. We didn't call each other. We just got lost along the way I guess but the night I left her house we literally started talking again for the past week or so and the night that I left I was actually moving my son
back from um, where he lived and something in me just stopped, stopped me, literally stopped me in my, in my tracks and I turned around and I started crying and it just felt like God just had wrapped his arms around me and her and I started confessing everything to her that I had felt and asking for her forgiveness and my kids are my world. They always have been. It's just like I said, I got lost. Lost in the addiction and everything else. Um, but he held us that night. I honestly truly believe that he knew that my family needed so much healing. And from then on, like everything that has happened literally has been a blessing each and every day. Um, but like I said uh, to you, uh, what I want to say to you guys is don't give up. Just don't, don't get up give up at all. Like I said, just day by day, take it take it one step at a time. You know, Jesus is always holding your hand. Um, like I said, there'll come a point when you'll realize it and it'll be the best thing ever. Now let me don't let me say that it sounds like peaches and creams because it's not. You're gonna fight daily for your spiritual being because or your spiritual self because like I said the devil don't want that for you. So you have to fight for it really fight for it and every time you overcome something you are you're going to be so happy with yourself um but you're more than what you know you know like i said it just takes that that faith faith in god faith faith in jesus christ the the creator of our universe i mean they're always right there you just have to believe and like i said if you need help or you just want to talk you can always message me text me, ask for prayer, whatever you need, I will be here. I absolutely will be here. Like I said, it just it has changed my life so much. And, and your ego is going to step in and say, are you really saved? Do you really feel like you're saved? It's going to talk in your head because that's your ego. But like I said, you got to remove that ego and know with all your heart and soul that you are saved and you're loved by Jesus. Like I said, you're going to fight with it. You're going to fight with art. But eventually you'll realize that I am saved. In Jesus Christ's name, I am saved. In the blood of Jesus, I am absolutely saved. And it, like I said, if you're not sure of something, just ask. But I love you guys. And I'm sorry I've talked to you guys through most of this. But anyways, let's go ahead and get finished. But anyways, I just want to say hallelujah. Amen to Jesus Christ. And thank you. I want this movie or this video to touch everyone's heart. The intent. That my intention is just for this video to touch everybody. Hopefully at least one of you guys or several of you guys will get saved. Amen. I love all you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this.
Okay guys, this is what they look like. I think they turned out super cute. I love them. Go check out the Nail Junkie, her Facebook group page, which has tons of followers. Some beautiful nail art from several different people. You can order her acrylics through Facebook. You can message her. Um, but yes, they are absolutely amazing. They're affordable. They're so on quality. She works really hard. I love to support her and her little self-owned business. It's doing so good. Um, you get one ounce jars. Uh, you can pick out the colors that you want. Just contact her on Facebook and you can order. Use my code though. Use my code, Melinda Boo. Save yourself 15% off your order. Ha. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think about these nails. They're absolutely cute um but anyways everything is linked down below you can go to the description box find her facebook group and my code is down there um also you can check out the glitter bells acrylics i do like them they are on a little bit of expensive side so that you know like i said i love my nail junkie it's i have so many of those colors and they're absolutely amazing um but anyways guys hope you didn't mind my little testimony please don't judge me this is my past um i've been 10 years clean now and just working on myself getting myself back together and just trying to figure out what my purpose is in life you know so guys i hope you all have a wonderful blessed and happy new years to each and every one of you guys you know i love you all i'll probably just sit on the couch and eat popcorn watch tv probably or do videos <laughs> But uh, anyways, guys, like I said, I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And if you're not new, you know, you guys know I love you all dearly. You are my YouTube family. Uh, don't forget to hit the, that bell to get all my latest uploads. Um, but also, don't forget, we have a giveaway. Giveaway! We have the Burano Full Kit, and then we have the Yogi Gel Polish. There's going to be two winners. Don't forget to follow the rules. You know, like this video. You have to be subscribed to this channel. You have to share this video. The more you share this video, the more entries that you will get. And, um... But yeah, I love you all. And I hope you guys enjoy all these little giveaways. I want to try to do as much for y'all as I possibly can. And don't forget to also put down below, put hashtag USA or hashtag international. That way when I go to draw this, um, if, I, don't, I don't think I'll use the comment picker. I may, but if you do extra entries, I will absolutely um, do, you know, hand draw because I can't pick up where everybody has put their entries at so you know like i said make sure you tag me when you share it in other places that way i can see it um but yeah okay <laughs> anyways guys i love y'all happy new years and i'll see you in the next video bye